Hello, this is Diza, and today I will show you some tricks that may slightly expand the possibilities of using MPC 2000 Excel. The first trick is not very obvious, and uh, many MPC users don't even know about it. <laughs> point is that you can play two different sequences with different number of bars at the same time. So, for example, we have a sequence consisting of four bars. Sounds like this. In the second sequence we have a pattern of 8 bars, sounds like this. second sequence consists of a long sample, no chopping, just playing as it is. And you can also hear the extra hi-hats playing triplet notes and snare drum fills. Okay. Then we select the first sequence and press the combination SHIFT plus MISC. A menu will appear in which we select the second sequence option by pressing F3. Then we select the sequence that be played at the same time as the first one, which is sequence number 2, and turn on. Let's listen. So you got the idea. Let's unmute our long loop for now. Sequence 2 is the main sequence, and the sequence we have chosen will be the secondary. Even if the secondary sequence has a different BPM, it will be assigned the tempo of the master sequence. And if we have an empty sequence as a master, as soon as you press rec button, the secondary sequence will start playing with this crazy BPM. But if you play the same sequence as the master and secondary, you can hear this flangey effect. That's because the same sequence is playing together at the same time. Don't be confused with it. Another trick I would like to show you concerns the widespread opinion that 2000 Excel is not as punch as previous MPCs, especially about low-end frequency. And of course it sounds different than 3K or 16, but I can show you a little trick how make your kick drum sounds more punchy. So let's talk about layering. Let's listen how our drum kit sounds like.
but if we open the program menu we will see that pad number one plays two sounds at the same time this one and this one so this one sounds more punchy at the low end it don't have any high frequency information it will be body of our kick drum the second one sounds more like acoustic kick drum and that will be an attack of our sample if you will play it in normal mode it will sound like this but as soon as we turn on the smooth mode you can hear the difference so when you activate the smooth mode for the first pad I assigned pad 40 as be played together the one thing you have to remember when you're using the simult mode is that both samples share the same envelope so you can't set different envelope values using just two pads but you can experiment with multiple pads by assigning different values to them At the same time, it does not affect the mixture settings. If you lower the volume of sample 1, you will still hear sample number 2. So this is a trick that you can actually layer samples by controlling with just one pad. Just in case, if you don't know how to turn down the long loop, and yeah, you can't turn it down just by pressing stop button. So for this reason, we can make another sample. Let's just assign any sample to empty pad. For the instance, is a hi hat. Turning down the volume of the sample, and in the program mode, go here to the overlapping, mono, whatever and open window and in this menu we can choose the path which will mute our long sample so the path A14 will mute the sample and the pad A13. Thank you for watching. I hope my advice helped you or at least inspired you to blow off the dust from your 2000 Excel. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. And see you soon.